The last thing that I want to talk about is the most important document that you need in your business. And so we're going to walk you through this thing that is <clears throat> your vision statement. And one of, the, one of the books that I mentioned this morning called Mastering the Rockefeller Habits, it said there's really only two plans that you need to have. You need to have a 90-day plan for your business, and then you need to have a 5- or 10-year plan for your business, a 5- or 10-year vision for your business. Because as long as you know those two things, kind of your number one priority for the next 90 days and where you want to be in 5 or 10 years, you don't need to have a one-year business plan, a two-year business plan, because that stuff's going to change a lot. But your vision of where you really want to be is not going to change a lot. And what you need to do in the next 90 days is not going to change a lot. It's not going to need to change a lot. So those are the two main things that you need to focus on. And so we're going to focus on right now, Bedros is kind of giving you all this stuff, keep you more than busy for the next 90 days. So we're going to talk about the, you know, the next five or 10 years and where you want to be. So if I can just get that one slide up. So we're going to talk about here, using my specific example, is the future of the turbulence training vision and what we're going to go on here. And you know, being part of the One Million Mission has allowed me to bring a whole bunch of people in, having that big idea. So I want you, as you go through this exercise with me, to think of a big idea that you can have, you know, some type of mission emphasis, a grand crusade that people will want to be a part of, that you'll attract people into. Again, when you tell people that you want to do something big, and when you start doing something big, people are going to make it a whole lot easier for you to do something big by contributing you know, without being asked, voluntarily contributing. Like what Josh did this morning, as I mentioned, as I was up here speaking, he was at the back coming up with a great idea for me and how he's going to help me implement it without me asking him. And so you go into what I would say is a position of strength and power by having a really big grand crusade. Whereas, you know, you, you probably have dealt with a lot of people who are just, you know, gimme, gimme, gimme something to help my business. And those aren't the type of people that no one wants to be you know, working with or being a part of. They don't want that. That's a negative attitude. And so they want to be part of something bigger than themselves. And so we're going to talk about that right now. How can we create something that is bigger than ourselves that people are always going to want to be a part of? And so you can find this online at turbulencetrainingcertification.com forward slash vision. But I'm going to read it out to you paragraph by paragraph, and then I want you to make sure you have a nice, big, clean piece of paper in front so that you can go and put your details in and go back and write it later on. So the page that they land on, the first page they ever land on is uh, a 30-minute video. So there's a 30-minute video at TurbulenceTrainingCertification.com that goes over the mission and my story about how I got started. So a lot of what I talked about early yesterday morning, and then as soon as they they don't even have to sign up to watch it, so I didn't, didn't make somebody sign up to watch it, but if they are interested in more information, they sign up, and then they get sent to this vision statement. And so you're going to be writing this from the future. So you're going to need a time machine. All right, it starts off. Dear trainer, the year is 2015. We've just certified our 5,000th turbulence training trainer and celebrated with the biggest ever TT certification party in Toronto. Over 500 TT certified trainers attended and had a blast meeting old friends and new friends. It was an amazing experience concerning a large number of our certified trainers were once turbulence training clients themselves. And now they've gone on to become certified in the proven turbulence training methods and now help anyone, anywhere from 20 to 250 clients per month. For our veteran trainers, it was like a family reunion, seeing friends they had made all the way back in 2011 at the very first small yet powerful turbulence training summit. So that's here. And since that first year, the certification program has grown exponentially and now reaches over 5,000 trainers in 117 countries. So let's start with specific numbers that you want to achieve in five years. Numbers that make you think, how could I ever possibly help 12,000 people in my community? You know, numbers that are outside of your comfort zone. So you want to write that down. And you also want to write this down as if, you're, as if there's some type of big event that you're at and you're speaking to people and looking back on. 
So that's why I said, you know, we were at our, our uh, 2015 event with all these trainers there. So very specific, you know, if nothing else, the number here that I have picked is 5,000 trainers by 2015. So that's a big number for me. That's going to take a lot of growth and get them out of the comfort zone. So what can you do in your boot camp business, whether it's your local community or, or maybe you want to uh, be like Mike and start a, a product online. So what's his big number that he wants to be achieving in 2015? Next, the next section is, uh, I've titled it, Celebrating the Turbulence Training Mission All Over the World. So we start off by saying, at the most recent TT certification event, we gave out awards to top trainers, most inspirational trainer, best TT program created by trainers, and we recognized the winners of our 20th Turbulence Training Transformation Contest. Over 21 past winners joined us on stage as a testament to the power of turbulence training in the community that surrounds it. So think of what this mission also allows you to build, besides just a boot camp, you know, is there a community that allows, that you're gonna be able to build with your vision and with your specific numbers. Now we're gonna talk about how your business actually looks. So running the Global Turbulence Training Certification Organization, we maintain a core group of support staff with a home base in Toronto and one member each in America, South America, Australia, and Europe. Together, the team coordinates the daily activities and marketing for our TT certified trainers. Outside of our home base, we have master level TT certified trainers who mentor new TT certified trainers on how to get their personal training businesses on the fast track to success. So now what I want you to do is think of what's the next level for my boot camp. So let's say you're at one boot camp location of 50 people right now. What's the next level? And what's the next level beyond that? And what's the, the level that you could be at in 2015? So don't hold anything back here. Allow yourself to be really enthusiastic and optimistic and write down where you want to be by 2015, four or five years from now. And I'm going to stretch my, my vision even bigger here, and I want you guys to stretch yours as well. So I go on to say, we also have 25 official TT certified gyms across North America, Australia, and Europe, where every trainer is TT certified and the gym is owned by a master trainer. But most importantly, or, but mostly, the TT certified family is composed of individual trainers operating independently in their own studios, running their own boot camps, or even working in large corporate, corporate gyms, dramatically changing the lives of clients no matter what environment surrounds them. So let's go back to one of the very first things we did yesterday, the avatar, and fit that in. Who are the people that you want to attract into your vision statement? That's going to modify how you write your vision statement and the, the things you say, the words you use. So really, you know, go back and just write who, are, you know, who do you want to have attracted into your life in five years from now? What's the type of person that would really make your business the place you want to go and spend all day with and the only reason you leave there is because you got you want to go home to your family you know you otherwise you would spend even more hours per day there just because the people are so fantastic the next section I get into my 1 million mission a little bit more specifically so this is where I want you to start thinking of that mission for your city your community your boot camp whether you're getting online with an information product so every day we work together towards our main mission of helping one million men and women transform their bodies and their lives. This happens through helping TT certified trainers create the best TT boot camps, semi-private training, and personal training sessions. Plus, through the three transformation contests we run each year online and offline. In addition to our main mission focused on the end user, we also have a mission for our trainers, aiming to give them a foolproof system to getting on track for, six figure, for a six-figure business in less than 12 months. Our success rate is over 77%, and the remainder reach that goal three to six months later. So now I want you to write down what is your best client, or your average client, getting in terms of results. So now you know the client, you've gone through the avatar exercise, but now let's think in terms of what are we getting them in terms of results, and how are these better than all, you know, the results from other people's boot camps you know, in the, the city or in the country 